So because the car has four tires, that means that the total weight of the car is going to be equal to four times the pressure being exerted by just one tire. So four times the force from the pressure being exerted by one tire. And remember that the force due to pressure is equal to the magnitude of that pressure multiplied by the surface area over which it acts. That area being the footprint of the car, or the footprint of the tire, the space that the tire is actually pressing against when it's touching the ground. We're looking for the mass of the car, so we're just going to algebraically solve for mass by dividing both sides of the equation by g, and now let's just plug in the values that we have. So that's 4 times the pressure, and the pressure exerted by one tire is given as 240 kilopascals. So that's just 2.4 times 10 to the power of 5 pascals. Another way to write that would be 240 times 10 to the power of 3 pascals times the area of 190 cubic or squared centimeters. And then we'll want to convert from centimeters into meters. So that's one meter for 100 centimeters. And then square that because the units are squared. And then this is all being divided by the gravitational acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. Put this into a calculator and we find a mass of about 18 61 kilograms, which can also be rounded to two significant figures of 1900 kilograms. And that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request for a future video or a question about this one, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye bye.